Here we go! Woo! Gaming news. Press start to play on the random 30 countdown. This social distancing is getting quite strange. We keep doing this via Skype, but maybe we've spoken about this corona stuff going on. Um, it's affecting games now. Yeah, we thought it wouldn't affect gaming. The gaming industry was pretty much untouched by the whole corona thing, apart from, you know, some of the developers having to work from home. But, yeah. they, you know, they're, they're used to working in those sorts of isolated environments. Um, but now the global pandemic has hit gaming with uh, with some major titles being pushed back till later in the year. Um, some of the examples of the ones that we did see in the last couple of weeks, though, we, I mean, we've already seen Doom Eternal come out, Animal Crossing, Final Fantasy VII yeah. and Resident Evil 3 all great games and all released in the last couple of weeks mainly due to digital sales um mostly sold through digital means as yeah, opposed right. to going to the store uh but it looks like naughty dogs the last of us part two which was due for a may 29th release is going to get pushed back to later in the year and also iron man vr that's getting pushed back to later in the year as well that was due to come out may 15th um and i, I think it's a real sign of the like I think we put a lot of emphasis on digital sales because I like to buy certain games yeah. digitally as opposed to going to the store. But the uh, the volume of those digital sales might just not be high enough to uh, to ensure like a good enough return on the product. So there's still plenty of people who prefer to support gaming stores by owning a physical physical copy of the game and going in and into, into a store like EB Games I was, or, or something like that. I was going to ask that because I, I kind of don't get why they would hold off knowing that, you know, you can download it via your, your, your store on the console, whether it be Xbox, Nintendo Switch. So is it strange that they've delayed it or they just got to run with the times because they'd rather Look. to release it and then go massive on release? Yeah, they put a lot of investment into actually making these games. So they want the return on investment yeah. for the games. They would they want to make as much money out of it as possible. And if they're only selling through digital means, they're not going to make nearly as much. Yeah, um, right. Plus, you know, it's great to support those stores, EB Games, places like that. Mm. You, you know, you know. I mean, when you go through the the process of buying a game, generally you take your old game in, trade it in for yeah. the new one, and have a physical copy to walk away with. A lot of kids, especially, they like to open up that physical copy. Yeah, um, as I understand. A present or, or anything like that. So, yeah, I think phys- not having a physical copy of the game or somewhere to buy it would really damage sales at this point in time. Yeah, right. I understand that, but I mean. That said, there's still plenty of games that are out now. I mean, Animal Crossing we've covered. Um, what are the other ones that you've that we've covered in the last few weeks? Yeah, some of the big titles, like I said, Doom Eternal, yeah. Animal Crossing. Uh, we also saw Resident Evil 3 Remake has just been released and also uh, the Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is just amazing and well worth getting. Yeah, nice. All the details will stick up random30.com.au. Hey there, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can hit us up on our social media as well at Random30Countdown. See you next time.